Hello everyone and welcome back to Colin Exiles. In today's video we're going to take a look at how to survive in the frozen north because without the proper food or armour you can actually die from the cold and the area we are talking about is all of this area here up in the snow which is called the frozen north so in this video we're going to take a look at some armours that you can use some food and also a drink and also you can literally do this without any armour whatsoever just with a bit of spicy food and a shield but we'll come to that later on in the video so let's jump into it right now okay then so as I say there are many ways that you can survive the cold you can even attempt this quite early on if you're not fully prepared with end game armour there are a few examples of different armor sets that you could use that are out behind me which we'll take a look at in a second I'm also wearing one of the versions as well just to show you one of the other different sets that are available because as we all know a lot of the armor sets in the game give you various temperature boosts so a boost to heat resistance and cold resistance and depending on the armor set will depend on the amount that they give you so if we take a look at the set that I'm currently wearing, this is a light set uh, this is the Veneer Settler which gives various different stats again but the things we want to look at is the little symbols at the top right of the lower part of the left hand side of the screen where we have the little bars with the symbol before them for heat and cold and as we can see with this set we get one bar of each on each piece so very very low so this wouldn't give us a huge amount of cold resistance being up here it would help a little bit but there are ways that we can counteract this as well so this is just one set and also in the veneer sets you also have this one which is the medium version of what we're wearing and as we can see yet again gives us the same amount of resistance to heat and cold so it's pretty much the same only difference is that that is a medium armor then you have the veneer heavy which once again exact same cold and heat resistance with the one bar of it but it's a heavy armor so it would give you slightly more armor another early game set that you can also get is the Cambusian shaman which is a medium set again and this gives bonuses to strength weapon all the way through and that just shows you it on the male and the female same as the other sets and then once you progress to end game as we like to call it there are multiple sets that give heat and cold resistance but two of the best sets in the game really for heat and cold resistance where you you still probably need a little bit of spicy food but not as much are the two sets that you can see here and uh, that is the champion's armor which is the one on the left so that's the female and the male and then the redeem legion which is the set on the right which is the better version of the silent legion and these are both pretty much on par with each other they both give exactly the same amount of heat and cold resistance almost a full bar in fact on each one I've only included both of these to show them because if we look at the champion's armor as we can see this gives bonuses to stamina strength weapon stamina strength weapon and stamina once again so that's a really good stamina strength weapon armor to wear especially if you craft this with a tier 4 armor so a shield right for example to give you more armor value as you can see there each piece gives two bars of heat two bars of cold and then the redeem legion as i say is the better version of the silent legion still gives the two bars of each once again but the difference in this one is you get the strength weapon from the head the chest but then you get 40 health from the hands so this has a bit more health rather than stamina and then you get some stamina from the legs but you get plus 15 so you do still get a decent amount and then for the feet you also get the 30 carry capacity so if you're a player that prefers a bit of a mix of health your strength and 
carrying ability you want to go with redeem legion or if you're not too bothered about carrying but you want the stamina and the strength and your health is okay then you've got the champion's armor there are others as i say like godbreaker potentially could be another good one but these are two particular armors that i use that i particularly like you could mix and match the two if you wanted to but as i say those are just a few of the sets that you could use and one of the coldest points in the snow is when you arrive here at the bridge of the betrayer and you run across here when you get halfway across this bridge you'll have a buff that comes up or debuff telling you that you are extremely cold and if you don't keep getting across this bridge quickly to the other side you'll go you still be extremely cold you'll get very cold once you arrive here but you'll get extremely cold right in the middle and you will start to lose health but there are different ways that you can counter this so what are some of the other ways that we can also counter our heat or cold resistance that we need if we take a look at my character sheet here with what i'm wearing if we scroll down on the right hand side where it says temperature as you can see there heat resistance and cold resistance at the moment i've got three bars in heat resistance and only two in cold with this that i'm wearing if i switch out to my redeem legion which is also disguised as my sort of snow outfit i like to call it which is just basically the Zamorian Thief headpiece and the Zingarian Freebooter outfit just added in black and white for something a bit different but this is of course the full redeemed legion with the three bolt plating on the lighter pieces and armor reduction on the chest and legs and if we go to our stat sheet again and we scroll down to temperature as you can see with this armor on I've got almost a full bar of cold and almost a full bar of heat resistance in this area. So alright then, we're wearing this, we're at end game, we know what we're doing, we can pretty much survive in this. Fair enough, there are new players who wouldn't know about this armour or have not been able to get to the Black Keep or Clay or Stronghold to learn these armours yet and you want to come up into the snow a little bit in your early to mid game and explore. As we say, you could use any of the lower tiered armors you've even got there are other sets that will also offer different stats you'd have to look at them to see if they give you the stats that you want plus the cold resistance but the veneers are all pretty good and the cambusian shaman but another way you can counter this with your stove if you take some savory flesh and spice which spice you get from grinding plant fiber in your grinder and then you place these in your stove you can make something called spice steak and if I just take some of these out of here like so as you can see I've no heat puffs or anything on the left at the moment and then if I was to eat a piece of this as you can see I'm now sated but I'm also warming up and then if we go back to our stat sheet once again as we can see pretty much around the same areas but it just gives us that little bit extra this you would need more so if you only had the early game armor on so if I swap back to these again as we can see we're just cold now so we're wearing this armor but we are cold because it's only a light armor as see we can get sated and it says that we are warming up but we are cold so in light armor we are cold but if I also come out of god mode there as you can see if I uncheck this when it wants to work there we go so we wouldn't be too bad around here we would be okay we could still kind of survive another food you can also make is the roast haunch that you make from your exquisite meat that you get from your not exquisite exotic sorry the exotic flesh that you get from rhinos again done with spice and cooked on your stove but another thing you can get is the spiced tea and it works exactly the same as the food you can just drink some of that 
that will quench your thirst but it will also warm you up but as you can see in this light armour we are still very very cold so you would have to be careful in certain areas just while we are here if you build a shelter up in the north one good set to use early on especially is the insulated wood because as you can see at the minute we are cold but if I go into here as you see there now we're still warming up we're sated and we are sheltered we don't have the cold debuff anymore so it's wise to build a shelter out of something that will give you a bit of protection from the elements so insulated wood is a really good one there are others like black ice that is another good one for using up here in the north but insulated wood will be ideal and cheap to make because it's only using insulated wood for one of the materials needed so it's a lot quicker and easier to produce a little outpost in this way so that's good for your shelter so whenever you come into the cold as you see straight back out the shelter and we're now cold again so we could manage around here for a short time but we don't want to be doing any big time exploration or else we'll start getting in trouble so those are some of the sets that's a little shelter that you could build up in the cold and we're just taking a quick look at the food and the drink now we're going to go down to the bridge of the betrayer and i'll show you another way that you can also do this early on with this armor or even no armor okay so we're here at our next location and as you can see on the map i am just here at the bridge of the betrayer which will lead us across into the snow and it will lead us up to these ruins and also the black keep dungeon which is where you can learn the three sets of silent legion which is the light the medium and the silent legion and also the redeemed legion which if you have a tier 4 armorer on your either improved or garrison armorer's bench you can also make the redeemed legion at the very top of your menu so we're going to go across here now and just ignore any lights that you see around or the little hut that you can see in the background there this will not be there unless you play on my server for example on playstation this just has a couple of fires in and some spicy food to help people out get across the bridge and into the cold but on a regular official server you won't obviously see any of this so as i say we're in this light armor we're going to eat another piece of our food and we're now warming up and we're going to start running across here and if you keep an eye on our buffs and debuffs on the left hand side you'll slowly notice those change as we go we're okay at the moment now you can see we're cold so we've just gone cold very cold now this is the point where you would normally be really cold but as you can see this is a bit of a heat shelter that we've got this is the point where i'm crossing now where you would get extremely cold as you can see there we're very very cold and that centre bit is where you will get extremely cold there we go now my glutton for punishment is kicking in because i'm at level 60 so one of my perks gives me that so that if i lose health i'm actually regaining it because of that perk but what i'll do now is i'll go back to the other end and we'll run it again but this time i'll remove my skill uh, perks so that we don't have anything in just as if we were running this from the beginning and then you'll see the difference okay so here we are back at the beginning again we're still wearing the same armor and as you can see we're right here so we're going to this time have a drink which has quenched our thirst but that is also warming us up so then we're going to start to run across the bridge and you'll notice the debuffs start popping up literally removed all of my attributes now so i am as if i was at level one as you can see i'm cold now we're getting very cold me and we carry on through still cold very cold 
so that central part is a really big bit now if I stop here as you can see extremely cold look at my health dropping look how fast that is dropping now because I had glutton for punishment that was obviously regening that so I had the survivability but as you can see if you stop and you hesitate on the bridge look how rapidly my health is dropping there so if we get to here now we are just cold but we can counter at this we're going to eat some food to warm us up again and our health regen will be quite slow so make sure you have some decent heals with you just to show you there as you can see I have no attributes in whatsoever and my health just started dropping rapidly so we've got one more little test to do we're going to run it one more time again as you can see uh, the character's breath there as well that's how cold it is I'm going to go back to the beginning once again and show you that you can even run over here if you need to do with literally no armor whatsoever some spicy food and also a legendary shield if you happen to farm this from a chest so let's do this one more time right so for the last run here we are as we can see literally no armor whatsoever no attributes and if I go to my character stat sheet there now we go down again as you can see temperature we've literally got no bonuses to heat or cold so we're going to get affected really really easily so we're going to eat a piece of food again because we know what we're about to do and we're going to start running across the bridge there are other ways up and down the river that you could attempt to cross rather than coming over this bridge because this bridge is really really dangerous got to mind our stamina as well but as you can already see they're very cold already extremely cold so our health now going to start dropping again our stamina is good so we're going to sprint again remember we've got no resistances to hot or cold now so you don't want to be messing about here too much because otherwise your health will start depleting again and you could then be in trouble so you always want to make sure you've got the spicy food so that you don't get in trouble as you can see it is doable without any armor but also another thing you can do if you manage to farm one of these soul spell or soul spiel people pronounce it differently from a legendary chest as you saw I had nothing in cold resistance however if I pop this in my hand I'm just cold so we have that there we're very cold put this in our hand we're warming up so if I go to my stat sheet and go down to temperature as you can see a nice five bars of cold resistance there and you can literally see I've got no armor on whatsoever and all I've got is this shield in my hand and this is keeping me nice and warm so we've eaten some spicy food we're warming up and as you can see I'm running back through now not even come up with cold yet just said it now so we're just cold regen my stamina we're even still just cold we've not even gone very cold yet so we're going to regen our stam again and then we're going to start sprinting again still just cold so we can get all the way across with literally no armor and uh, this shield in our hands and we literally just get cold we don't get very cold and we don't get extremely cold so we pop this away and I'll do it one final time for you with it already in my hand just to show you so you can see that I wasn't doing anything any different there we're still sated we're not warming up now but just to give actually without even doing the heat buff we'll leave that off we're only sated so this is if we've just eaten some food cold and then we're running through again now we've just gone very cold this time even though we had the shield in our hand we've gone very cold back down to cold and then we generate our stamina very cold which naturally you would be running across a frozen bridge like this without any clothes on just keep regenerating your stamina 
and then as you can see we get back out here and we are just cold and then if I put this away I've just gone really really cold now because I'm actually in the snow area with no armor no points and look at my health is dropping so I'm just going to very quickly pop myself back into that heal up and then I'm going to re-equip my Redeem Legion armor doesn't have to have the headpiece it could be whatever you want but as you can see we're stood here now gonna make sure that we're fully healed and then if I just come back out of the god mode once again as you can see now I can quite happily run around here not losing any health and we can take a look at our stat sheet one final time and see all that heat and cold protection put this shield in my hand and look at that full bar of cold protection so you've already got more than enough cold protection wearing redeem legion or the champion's armor you're not going to start losing any health or having any serious health troubles in those just your early game armors are going to be a bit of an issue but as we can see there with soul spell in my hand full bar of cold protection so we have got no concerns about spending any time out in the snow so there we have it then guys just to recap if you want to survive in the cold at any point whether you're early game mid game or end game it's always recommended to have spiced tea or a drink of some sort that will warm you up and also a food i think also there is the sumerian feast that can also give you the warm buff as well but ideally you want some good heat protection and cold protection armor depending on where you're going more so the cold protection if you're coming in the snow the heat protection is more for the volcano which we'll cover in a future video and once you're at end game you want to pick one of your favorite or best end game armors for you my two favorites are definitely the redeem legion or the champions as i say i hope you found this useful hope you found it helpful and also don't forget keep an eye out for soulspiel and the one you want for the volcano is called Miss Morn. This will give you heat resistance, but we'll cover that in a future video. Hope you found this one helpful. Hope you found it interesting. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Let me know how I'm doing in the comments down below. Leave your questions. Leave ideas for future videos. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And from the very cold north, guys, it's a goodbye from me. So until the next one, my friends. I'll leave you with a short little drone flight around some of the snow so you can kind of just see a little bit of scenery. But until the next one, bye for now.